Hi, I'm Peter Browning. I'm running for county commissioner for District 2. I would really like your vote to be commissioner in this community. The reason I'm here today is to talk about homelessness. And we've all seen it. We've seen it in, in its ugliest form in Seattle. We've seen uh, more coming up this direction. And it really is a problem, but it's one that can be looked at more sensibly. My concern is that we, we look at homelessness as one big answer, one big answer, one, one, one size fits all answer for homelessness in our community. And that's not the case. It's really important for us to recognize that there are people who have truly fallen on very, very hard times and they need some assistance and we can give them that assistance, training, help them get into housing, help them get into jobs. That's going on every day over at the Anacortes Family Center. They're doing a fantastic job. But what they do is screen for people most likely to succeed in getting through the project, getting a home, and getting a job. The rest of the population is going to take a completely different approach, especially if you're looking at, at uh, substance abuse or mental illness or co-occurring co disorders. Very often those two go hand in hand. And those are, that's a very specific process to work with that population and to get them to the point where they can then start looking at the, real, the, the possibility of having a home and having a job. We're not doing them any favors at all, pushing them into that before they're prepared. So my solution would be identify the people most likely to succeed in getting out of homelessness and then take the other money we've got allocated and go through a very, very thoughtful process. And I would hope we would do one that is peer reviewed, a process that we look at to see what is most successful and work very, very hard and work very caringly with the, the mentally ill and substance using population and look for the future outcomes. They aren't going to quite be quite as quick, but they all will have in the long run, tremendous impact on our community. Another very important point I want to put out is we don't do enough with mental illness with our young people. We don't catch them at a point when there's some real potential for positive outcomes. We very often wait until that, that person has, has really become significantly impacted. And we need to do a lot better job of catching them earlier. And since the county is responsible for the mental health services for the whole county, I would really like to make sure that we serve that function well by being very good about picking out, trying to catch young people at a very critical time in their lives and have very positive and thoughtful solutions and projects to work with them. So that's the mental, with substance abuse, the same thing. We don't do enough to, to give really good, solid information to young people. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about going back to a D.A.R.E. type program, but something that's far more involved in making sure kids understand what it means, for example, when your body goes into a blackout. I mean, when young kids do this and don't realize that, that that means your body is shutting down its most necessary function or least necessary functions so it can keep the most necessary functions alive. That means you've poisoned yourself. Young people don't realize that. So it's that kind of education that a very critical point that we could do some really good work. So again, I'm running for county commissioner in District 2. I really would appreciate your vote and I would really like to be successful in this county on dealing with both homelessness, mental health, and substance abuse. Thank you.